Oh, what up, my dude? Tell me doing all today. What about the channel to leave vlogs? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just wanted to start today's vlog by showing you guys this before we start the main event of today's vlog. But this morning, I've been doing this one, two, three bushes that were right here. There was one here, there was one right here, and there was one right there. I took them out this morning, my dudes, because they were hideous, they were ugly. There was no point for having bushes like that. And look at this front, it looks way cleaner than it was before. Don't mind the trash, I'll sweep that up right now. This tree's trimmed down, that bush, don't know what it is, but I trimmed it down. And then this side, these trees are gone, except for this bottom. I don't know, I'm gonna take that out yet. I want to, but I don't know when I would get a chance to. But I just wanna show you guys this before we have to go to the backyard and, and plant those big trees that we have back there. My goodness. This house is coming along little by little, my dudes, and I'm so excited. I'm so happy that this house is ours, and I've been fixing it up. I've been cleaning it up since we got it. It's been a hassle. Like, these first owners were left a disaster, but it is what it is, my dudes. Remember when I went to the dumpster? Yeah, I should have swept that up, and now that's not going to fly off because the tool bag is holding, the tool box is holding the wind. It's aerodynamic science stuff behind it. I don't know, but yeah, I gotta get a broom and sweep that. But I don't wanna sweep it here because all that little white fuzzy that you see, those are seeds. Yeah, they're everywhere. Couldn't see because of sunlight. Anyways, my dude, just wanna show you that really quick before we go to the main event. But damn, it looks nice. It looks nice. Welcome to the main event of today's vlog, of today's adventure. Oh man, I'm not even looking forward to this. I've been doing yard work since three days straight, my dudes. Anyways, this is the next step. We gotta find a place where we're gonna put the two trees. I don't know if we should line up with the neighbor's trees, how they have it lined up, because that's the other neighbor has it lined up, but this neighbor has it lined up. You might line it up here, I don't know. And we still gotta pick up all that dirt in the back. But we'll see how far we got. But this time I got my pops here with me because he's not working today. So I told him, I need some advantage, need some help, because this is gonna be pretty easy, pretty long day, so. Tree number one is going to be where my dad's at right now. And right now we're just cutting off the paper, the wool, the plastic, whatever you want to call it, that goes under the rock, like I've been saying for a long time. That's a nice blade, nice four square triangle cut. So now we're going to start digging it up. Like a, like a good, what, three feet? Yeah, small is. Less than three feet? Two, two. two and a half, three, more or less around there. Okay. And then we're going to plant... The big one right there leaning on the house with the roots already, right here. And the other one, that's gonna be more down in that general area. So basically we're gonna have a, we try to get like the middle of the yard. Put one there, put one there, and put somewhere up there just in case, just like the neighbors did it. But ours is up more higher. So now we're gonna dig a hole. Like I said, like at least two feet, three feet, and then plant the tree, put some soil, give it some water, and it'll be a good home. So we got this machine right here. This is the good machine to make holes. Where are we gonna put the dirt? Uh, oh man. Okay, wait up. What about that wheelbarrow? Just bring it over here. I right, go get the wheelbarrow. Just leave it right there. So that's basically the machines used for. I got the wheelbarrow, my dudes. My camera was way back there. That's basically it. But this, but the dirt's nice and soft, so it won't be a problem with the shovel. Like I've been using it from the yard. It looks nice and moist and fresh, so that's a good, good thing. But yeah, both of these are good from the dirt's like really hard and you can't get the shovel to fit in. Basically, use these to make fences, but pretty good. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. So we're gonna keep doing this so the hole gets deeper and then we're gonna plant the tree then put dirt back on it and we're gonna put some soil and then more dirt on it and then boom that's how you plant the tree so we're doing this because wheelbarrow is already full small wheelbarrow was no good at all so now we're gonna well, it's good at all but not good it's good it's good not good good that's it So we're gonna make like a little, like a little place for the dirt. Dirt's gonna be like inside of here, so it can be easier for us. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're cutting out the cardboard box, like so. There it goes. Like a little house, in other words, a little casita. Pot soil. Then we have the bag 
pot soil so that always goes first inside the dirt hole some soil and then the tree and then some soil around it and then you put the dirt on top of it and that's how you plant a tree dirt dirt and then pot pot yeah let's go get the tree so once i get the tree planted up and piled up i'm gonna have my dad because this tree is pretty heavy i can't do it with one hand i need two hands sorry my dudes and i'll show you guys how it looks tree number one almost planted so we put soil in the bottom like i said and then the tree and then we put a bit more soil and right now in the dirt process i didn't show that my dudes because we we're trying to line up the tree perfectly get straight and i put the soil in first like i said and then we put the tree on top and then my dad was holding it while i was putting soil all around it so it can like kind of stay not move and then we put dirt and now it's not going nowhere so now we gotta put more dirt on it right now how you guys see my pops is doing just moving the dirt and make sure uh, you don't leave it flat because if you leave it flat then there's no water going to go down so you gotta like um how you do it with the shovel just like poke it like that oh just like that my pop's doing so that water can go through all the way down to the bottom and it's yeah it's it's steady they don't want it too you don't want it too stiff so when it wins when the wind blows it will fight the tree and it'll snap that's why trees are like weak and they're wavy they survive longer than trees are like stiff like that because the wind they're against it and then wavy move it like this so you don't want a two two wait now get the hose and we give it like a little water i bet you're thirsty from all that water that we have you in that little bucket holding it so you get some water you get some water you get some water, you get some water, everyone gets water. From Oprah, and he says that, that's cool. One day, one day I'm gonna say that. You get a car, he gets a car, she gets a car, we all get a car. One day, my dudes, but right now we're just watering up. Ah, you thought. Because the water's gonna sink in. And then we'll see if it needs to add more dirt or not. That's what we're, that's what we're doing as well, as giving it water. Cause the water will start pushing in, seeking in all the dirt. So now we wait until the water goes down. See if we get to add more dirt. So just seek, sinking in. That's what it's doing right now. Little flash forward, my dudes. We're moving the rocks right here. We're gonna leave like a little tree stump so when we water it, they can have water there. Instead of having the underground water that everyone has all so fancy to fill up, we don't have that. So we're doing it how we always do it, our style. I mean, so we can get the hose and fill it up. And the water is not sinking down. So we put enough dirt and we did like enough holes with the shovel and we're going like that. So it is pretty good so far. Just trying to get it nice and pretty. Now, trying to make it pretty. There we go. What you guys are wondering, why the hell do you guys have buckets and dirt? What are you going to do with all this dirt? Let me show you my dude what we're going to do with all this dirt. You guys are wondering all this big old mess of all this dirt? Because I'll show you why. I'll show you guys in other videos, but this is the reason why. <laughs> Look how deep. Wait, wait, that's deep. Like super deep. That's super deep, my dudes. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to turn the camera upside down so you guys can see. That's deep. So, we're guessing. A chat, don't step here. It might close. It's probably up to the sidewalk right there, my dudes. That's what I'm trying to bet at. That's deep. So we're gonna put dirt inside there and cover up this hole. So we were showing this in other videos about this tunnel that we have. We didn't really get to it because we thought it wasn't that deep until we came up here, me and my pops, and actually visualized it and took our time, sat in the hole and everything. This is how deep it is, my dudes. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a, the palo, the, what do you call that, rake, is in there. You can, my, my dad can fit inside the hole you can put a child inside that hole my dudes it is so freaking it is so deep look this whole rake can fit inside this whole rake can fit inside this tunnel so it is pretty far my dudes hopefully you're gonna get controlled by the city thank god this hasn't collapsed at all because it's hollow but we're filling up with dirt i'm bringing up my dad buckets with dirt from there to here so we're just doing buckets after buckets after buckets but it's not working my dad wanted to do like a little like a little wall a little border but once as he passed down the dirt it just collapsed so it might not gonna work but that whole rake fits inside 
that's amazing look that's insane so mostly most likely all this dirt that's up here belongs inside this hole so maybe planting the second tree we might have to do it because we might need extra dirt i don't think that's enough dirt for this hole damn that's insane my dude someone put my camera down and i'm gonna continue bringing my dad buckets of dirt but that's what we've been doing that's what we've been doing damn so we stopped putting up the hole because we needed more dirt and the only way we can get more dirt is by planting tree number two and we planted tree number two same thing soil is coming in again but i was gonna tell you my dudes we planted it too deep and I told my dad I should put more dirt and he was like, no, no, it's, it's fine like that. You know how grumpy and stubborn they are. That when I told him about the house, yep, same thing comes to here, my dude, when I was painting the house. But we'll see what happens, see if it grows. I have more faith in this one because it's already had the roots on. This one didn't have no roots whatsoever. It was just a stick that I trimmed off from the front tree. But it should start growing. And once it starts growing and getting out of control, I'll start trimming it down. So hopefully it will look like that one day. But right now it looks like this. It looks like a bush. Just a short little stump and whoop. Now we're gonna give it some water. Some, me? Yeah, so. Same thing we're doing in that tree. See if it goes down with the dirt, anything like that, so on. And plus give it some nice fresh water. And this tree should start growing by springtime, hopefully. And so there it goes. So since this tree didn't have any roots whatsoever, we decided to put more soil than it was before so it can catch the minerals and nutrients and absorb the water and all that good stuff. So hopefully it will work out. This one will work out better. We're going to go and finish this tunnel up. Hopefully it can finish it up. I doubt it. We're probably going to need more dirt than this that we got. But we're going to figure it out. Alright, let's go get some buckets. You guys are wondering why I'm carrying buckets instead of the whole wheelbarrow? Let me tell you why my dudes. Because the wheelbarrow has a flat tire. Yeah, it's flat. So that's why I've been using it just to hold dirt. But I think I'm gonna go up because this is a little bit dirt than we had last time. So I think I can make it going up. Save us some time, my dude. So we're gonna flat filling up that hole. Started getting dirt off this tree. It wasn't enough. This tree was enough. So we started getting off dirt from here. And it doesn't look like a lot, but we took off a big patch of dirt just to finish the tunnel, to block the tunnel up. You can't even tell the tunnel right here. Is these trees to plant? They're easy. We should have done them right away. It was just this tunnel took a long time for us to do, but it is completely covered. And then we still got all this extra dirt here that we're going to pick up somehow on another day because we have another one. But this was not that bad how it looks. Another hole right here that has trash. And you can tell that he started digging. But he probably hit cement, didn't go that far. So. That's a good thing. But having these two trees here in the backyard, it looks way better, my dude. I know I've been trying to fix this house up. This is the house that we bought. So excited, I've been working on it since we since we got it. So if you guys like what I do, you wanna know more stuff about it, subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at Leave Vlogs. Like my Facebook page at Leave Vlogs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.